In nature, Legionella grow and multiply within amoeba and ciliated protozoa, which are small, one-celled organisms. Here you can see an amoeba packed with Legionella. In addition to providing nutrients for replicating and growing Legionella, protozoa also provide a shelter protecting Legionella from adverse environmental conditions, such as extreme temperatures and chemicals like chlorine. Human immune cells called alveolar macrophages look very similar to protozoa. When in human lungs, Legionella invade and grow within these alveolar macrophages and cause disease. In addition to growing in free-living protozoa, Legionella also thrive in communities of microorganisms called biofilms. Biofilms grow on moist surfaces and often look like dark slime. This slime is what shelters Legionella from harsh environmental conditions. Biofilms can be difficult to remove, even with scrubbing or using chemicals, and they may serve as a reservoir for persistent Legionella contamination that can last for decades. Biofilms may seed downstream devices and can come off in large chunks, which can result in transmission of Legionellosis. Legionella grow and amplify under certain conditions, including warm water temperatures, stagnation, presence of organic matter, and absence of residual disinfectants. Legionella prefers water temperatures between 77 and 108 degrees Fahrenheit. At temperatures below 77 degrees Fahrenheit, Legionella do not grow, but they also do not die. They are present and can amplify if more favorable conditions return. Legionella can survive in temperatures up to 158 degrees. Water stagnation is important because it promotes biofilm formation. The presence of organic matter like soil provides nutrients for growth, a stratum upon which to build biofilm, and also consumes free chlorine in the water. Disinfectants like chlorine or monochloramine kill Legionella and are typically added to potable and recreational water. However, these disinfectants can quickly break down under certain environmental conditions, such as high temperatures or increased organic matter. It is important to keep in mind that because of the protection provided to Legionella by protozoa and biofilms, Legionella can be present in water even if conditions are not optimal for their growth. For example, they may still be present and can cause infection in water that is hot and chlorinated. Legionella must be aerosolized to cause infection. Anything that produces small water droplets or mist, like a shower head, fountain, or whirlpool spa, can aerosolize water. Less commonly, Legionella can be transmitted via aspiration of drinking water, which is when water goes down the wrong pipe, into the trachea and lungs instead of down the digestive tract. 